You guys loved my first epic everyday carry keychain setup I did back in 2020, but some of you thought it was too much. Here is an update of my current keychain setup. It's a lot more minimal and has everything I need to get me through the day without all that extra stuff. So here is the bare bones setup. I'll show you the other components that I add later on depending on where I'm going, but this is the setup that I take with me everywhere. The lanyard is from Gungunam, an automotive accessories and soon to be clothing brand that my friends and I created. It has our logo and one of our designs, night drives and boba runs. We also have a jet tag and some stickers, so I'll leave links to our website and social media if you're interested in cars. It would be amazing if you could support a small business like ours and purchase some things from our shop. As you can see, the lanyard is a little beat up and dirty after months of EDCing, but that's to be expected with a white lanyard. There's also a black version by the way. I used to switch in between the multitude of lanyards that I have, but this one has been staying with me for a while now, and I don't think I'll be changing it anytime soon. Next up on the keychain is the same keyring from the Zack Tools keyring holder. I don't really use the belt clip thingy anymore since this whole setup isn't that bulky and small enough to keep in my front pocket. Make sure to watch my last everyday carry keychain setup if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll leave a link in the description or you can click the card on the top corner. I just keep it on because it's a little larger and stronger compared to other key rings that I've used in the past and if I ever need to clip my keychain onto my belt, I'll be ready and won't need to reattach that specific keyring. But basically, my keychain is always on a lanyard now. You've also seen the next couple of items from the past video as well. I still have the same car key fob with the same silicone key fob cover as well. It's held up really nicely and the only sign of wear and tear is the letter L on the panic button. I didn't even notice it until making this video to be honest. But it's protected my key fob from drops and scratches. So this cheap little investment is definitely worth the money and that little bit of extra bulk. The other thing is this Maritac brass peanut flashlight. I didn't really talk about it for that long in the last video, but I pointed out how it's nice to have a dedicated flashlight besides your phone just in case of an emergency, even if it's as small as this one. Unfortunately, I can't really find this flashlight anywhere online anymore, but I'll leave some links to a few alternatives in the description. Once again, it's made out of brass, has a rechargeable battery that can be recharged with a micro USB, and is considerably smaller than my pinky. It also has two different brightness modes just in case you need that extra juice. Just keep in mind that the higher output will eat up your battery quicker. It's super convenient to have, and it's like it's not even there until you really need it. Sure, you might have your phone, but an extra source of light is always a good thing to have just in case your phone battery happens to be dead. Something new to the setup, however, is this Apple AirTag. These are the best trackers out there in my opinion since they use the same Find My iPhone app that everyone has, if you have an Apple product of course. I love the white premium finish that it has, but it scratches way too easily. So to add a little bit of protection as well as the ability to attach it to my keychain, I am using the Nomad Loop. The Nomad Loop is a leather accessory that uses 3M adhesive to attach to both sides of the AirTag and it's very secure. It'll stay on until you want to peel it off, and even then, it won't leave any sort of permanent residue on the AirTag. You can still also access the battery with it on which is nice for long-term use. I've been carrying it every day on my keychain for a while now, and you can see that it has patinated very well, and has gotten more shinier too. But I personally think that everyone should have some sort of tracker on their keys, even if you don't lose them frequently or at all. That extra bit of security and peace of mind is worth having something like an AirTag on. And for my keys, I have a different key organizer this time. Since I have the Apple AirTag, I didn't really need the tile functionality that my last key organizer had. So this one is a little bit more stylish, as well as a little more sleeker and more flexible to be more lenient in your pocket. This is the Black Limited Edition Bundle Key Organizer from Orbit Key. I love the fact that it's limited edition and it also comes with their multi-tool V2. So I have that along with three other keys and it stays pretty thin. I can access my keys with one hand which is really convenient 
and it's also very easy to switch out or modify your key order. The multi-tool has 9 different tools and it takes up about the space of one key so it's worth keeping around if you need a bottle opener or a package opened. This key organizer has held up very well through countless days of use and I bring my keys out very frequently in sometimes tight front pockets. So this thing is really durable because there's usually a good amount of friction happening taking this thing in and out of my pockets and it shows very little signs of wear. That's pretty much the barebone setup. If I wanted to add anything, it would usually be when I would want to keep everything together. For example, when I want to go to the gym or when I want to dump my things into a bag. The first thing I would attach is my wallet. Yup, my wallet. There's a little hole on one side that will allow you to attach it to something. And that's where I clip my lanyard on so that I can attach or detach the wallet quickly and easily. I absolutely love this wallet. This is the Akini Exto Wallet 4 card variant with the spring upgrade and the carbon fiber business card cover. It's super slim, holds 4 cards as advertised, but I put in 5 plus cash and has another compartment that you can use to store things like business cards. You don't have to use it to hold business cards. For example, I actually use it to hold another card and some stamp cards for a restaurant, which is pretty cool. It's very streamlined, which makes it very easy to slide in and out of a pocket and there's really no points where it'll snag like other wallets. The other thing that I would add is my AirPods Pro, and they are a must, especially if I were to go to the gym. I really can't wear headphones for some reason, and that with sweating is a no-go for me. The AirPods Pro are super portable, has that noise cancellation if I ever need it, and it fits on my keychain no problem thanks to this case that I have. I just clip my AirPods to the lanyard using the carabiner, and that's it. Whenever it's too much, I can easily detach my wallet and my AirPods to make the keychain setup lightweight again. But when I'm out and about at the gym, I literally just have to take my phone, water bottle, and this keychain setup and I have everything with me to work out. No, I don't carry jet tags anymore, and no, I don't keep around hand sanitizer on my keychain anymore either. The setup is still a little much with my wallet and AirPods on there, but I don't rock the larger setup all the time. Then again, I'm at the gym pretty frequently, so... Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. I'll try my best to link everything down in the description as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.